Hi there YouTube and welcome to the companion video for Mac deployment. In this video I'm going to show you how you can build your own custom packages and let's just get right to it. You need the application called packages. Whoops. And if I at some point learn how to spell it'll be a little bit easier for me to find it. When you open packages you'll get two options. You can create a distribution package and a raw package. The distribution package is where you can include multiple packages so you can make installation choices. If you've ever installed uh, something like the older versions of Microsoft Office or I believe some of the newer versions as well where you can choose whether you want to install Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint and the other applications, that's a distribution package. You can also customize the welcome message, uh, the background picture and a lot more. This package is not really something that I'm going to do for an image deployment since I'm never really going to see all the work I do. So a raw package where I just include what I need and then deploy the package, that'll be a lot easier to do. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to create a raw package and then we're going to start by choosing the project directory. Um, mainly because I've already created it. And let's go into the custom packages that I created and let's start with the custom desktop pictures. So we're going to choose that as our work folder and then we're going to name the project. Custom desktop pictures. Oops, there we go. And there we go. We'll click finish. Then packages will open up the, um, the project window where we can make a few settings and changes and choose our payload and stuff like that. But let's just go through the tabs one by one. The first tab here is called project. This will contain some simple information about your project. And we don't really need to make any changes here. Uh, let me make it clear that this application can do a lot more than I know. So I'm only going to stick to what I know and then let you get creative and uh, inventive on your own. You can find a lot of information on the internet about how to do things. The second tab is called settings. And here you can make a few settings for your package. The first one up here called identifier you can change a little. An identifier is sort of where did this package come from. So here I can kind of make my own little uh, signature of the file. So I'm going to type in my YouTube ID here. The first two letters here is because DK is because I'm in Denmark. So pick that out. And it's a package file with, called custom desktop pictures. So that's fine. You can also do version numbering if you want. Once the installation is done, you can choose what to do. So if you want the Mac to restart after an installation, you can do that too. Uh, there's also a few other options down here and the only real interesting one here is require app and password for installation. That'll allow you to put files into folders that's password protected by the admin account. That means system folders. So make sure that's checked if you're doing so. In the setting, in the tab payload is where we can choose what to deploy. And I'm going to, I'm going to deploy these pictures that I have in here. And I would like to put these into the Mac's own desktop pictures folder. And just if you don't know, I'm just going to show you. So I'm going to open up my Macintosh hard drive. I'm going to go into my library. And in here we have a folder called desktop pictures right there. If you notice over here in packages, most of the folders are already here because those are the most common. We're in the Macintosh hard drive and the library folder is open and it'll be so by default. But the desktop pictures folder is not existing here, so we'll need to create that. And you do so by right-clicking the library folder and then choosing new folder. And I'm going to name that desktop pictures. Now, this is case sensitive, so make sure that you type the name exactly as it is. Otherwise, it'll just create a new folder and it'll put the fold files in there and it won't show up correctly in the system preferences panel later. So anyway, now we can click the plus and add the files. I'm just going to add these four pictures here. There we go. Add the files. And here you can make some settings to it. I don't really know why I need to do so, uh, but this works. So we'll just click add. And there you can see the four files are included. Now let's continue here. Uh, the tab scripts, you can include some scripts to do some actions for you. I don't really know how to do this, so I won't cover this in this video. And you can also add some comments to your file. I'm not going to do that here either. What I'm going to do now that I have the package complete is I'm going to go to the file menu and click save just to make sure that my project is saved. And then I'm going to go to my build menu and click build. That's going to build a package that I can then later use for my deployment. There we go. So if I go back here, 
Now you can see in my custom pictures uh, folder here, I have now the project file, so I can later change this package. And I also have a folder called build, where I now have a package file that I can deploy. Now I'm going to close down this project, and then I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to create another raw package. This time I'm going to deploy the license folders. And uh, this one you actually might want to do. So we'll go in here to my license files and click choose. And we're going to click license files. There we go. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that all the license files needed for the deployed software is installed on the Mac. I can't install the actual licenses, but I can install the license files. So when I deploy the Mac, it's easy to open these files. So what I'm going to do is just going to go through the settings and change the identifier once again to create that personal touch. And then I'm going to go into the payload and this time I'm going to create a new folder in the applications folder that I'm going to call license files. And then I'm going to add some files and in here I'm going to add my license files from my deployment folder. There we go, my Beamer license and my license accounts. Click add. That means every time this package is included in my deployment, it'll create a folder in the applications folder on the Mac that's deployed with these license files. That means for all my Macs, this is easy to get access to the accounts. Just like before, I'm going to go into the file menu, I'm going to click save, and then I'm going to go into the project, sorry, into the build menu and click build. And there we go. Very, very simple and very, very easy. So I'm going, going into my folder license files and into the build folder, and here I have my package file. That's how you can create your own custom packages and that's the custom packages that I created for this project. Uh, you can of course get adventurous and do a lot of things with this, so I'm gonna let you go and do that and then I'll see you in part two.